Today's talk about UFC Fight Night 173 coming up at the weekend on Saturday night. Uh, it's going to be Davison Figueiredo against Joseph Benavides. Sorry, I always struggle with the, with the first guy's name. But uh, yeah, either way, that's the main event. But there are some really, really good fights on this card. Some very interesting fights. One of which is a Mr. Mark DeCasey fighting Raphael Fiziev. Right now, Mark DeCasey, uh, you're probably familiar with him. He's the British guy doc from Doncaster with the red mohawk. Uh, he's a very, very interesting striker. I really like Mark DeCasey. I'm a, I'm a big fan of his. I think I think that you put him against the right guy. He's he he kind of ran into a couple of losses here and there, but to good opponents. But he is a real talent, a real talent, and he can do some spectacular things in there. And he's just fun to watch because you never really quite know. Uh, what is going to happen? He has got. He's an athletic freak for starters. He is just. If you look at him, he's 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 ripped. There's not an ounce of fat on him. He's he's a pure athlete. He's he's gonna have a length advantage over Fizia because like looking at these two stat wise, like got you've got Decay's in at five ten. He's got a seventy three inch reach and. Uh, Fiziev is five foot eight, and he's got a seventy-one inch reach. Now that is significant because the case he does fight long very well. He also throws a very nice spinning back kick, and he does low calf kicks really nicely. We saw that um, in his last fight against Veneta. Now the thing is against Veneta, um, it's like they're both spectacular style strikers. If that makes sense, they both kind of go for big unorthodox, uh, like flashy strikes, you know, the spinning back fists, the spinning back kicks, all those kinds of things, which are brilliant to watch. And when they and when they come off, they are, they're fantastic. But one thing I would say is that DeCasey has run into problems in the past when he's fought somebody with very, very good fundamentals, just really good basic striking. Um, that's That has been a problem in the past, but, you know, he's a new fighter now, so we'll see what happens because I mean this and this is the problem I think for De Casey potentially in this fight is because Raphael um, Fiziev he is he's got superb fundamentals I mean fundamental striking he because he's from uh, Tiger Muay Thai uh, over in Thailand like that's where he trains and his, his Muay Thai is just on point he is elite level really he he he's just so crisp and just so technically solid that he doesn't really throw anything too fancy but everything he throws has got some real power behind it and it's so just the technique is perfect like his his defense stays solid his technique is perfect but on the flip side he has actually struggled in the past um with uh, i can't remember his name but it was a russian uh, i think it was a dagestani fella that he, that he fought a couple of fights. I think it was in his debut, actually, his, his UFC debut. And he actually got um, got finished with a spinning back kick because that because the guy who's fighting was quite a kind of uh, spectacular kind of elaborate striker. But and obviously De Casey, he has those weapons, so he's going to have to keep a lookout for those. But if he keeps his yeah, if if, if he keeps his fundamentals going, then I think yeah he's he's gonna he's he's gonna definitely come out looking good because I, I went back and I watched one of his fights against um, Alex White I think it is but uh, yeah Alex White and it, it, he, his his striking just looked so good he was so crisp and this is against a guy who had overcome adversity as the commentators actually went into which I thought was really odd right they said oh Alex White. He's no stranger to overcoming adversity, right? Because when he was four, he accidentally drank some gasoline, and like the doctors said that he, you know, he's probably going to die. He may never recover. Right? That is not overcoming adversity. That's overcoming stupidity, and it's bad parenting, probably, isn't it? Where was what what, what? what happened there? Look, at the end of the day, right? It's it's unfortunate. It was, it was a, you know, kids often get into like scrapes and stuff like that, but I wouldn't call that overcoming adversity. That doesn't seem like the right term for it. It's not like you'd go over go into a job interview and say, oh, well, you know, one of my strengths is that 
I, I'm really good at overcoming adversity because I actually once, um, after drinking some gasoline, I recovered from that. They say you're out of your fucking mind. Oh, don't, that, that is not adversity. It, that's not adversity. That's a kid doing something stupid. And maybe bad parenting. I don't know what the actual um, specifics of the event were. So I don't want to accuse his parents of, of being you know, absent and and uh, possibly neglecting. But that's the, the picture the story paints. Either way, I just thought it was a very odd thing for the commentators to kind of come out with. But yeah, and... Uh, so I think that, yeah, Raphael Fiziev, I think he comes in at a plus 220 underdog. You know, I'm probably going to have a bet on that just because I really like Marta Casey. So that way, if Marta Casey wins, and he should win, he is the favourite, he, like, he, he probably should get a win here because he hasn't got to worry about the wrestling so he can kind of get into his flow and do his thing. And uh, yeah, so Marcus De Casey... At least if he wins, I'm happy because he's a Brit and you know, I always support the Brits out there. But and then if Raphael Fiziev wins, he comes in and dog and I get some money. Happy days. Plus 220 underdog. Uh, yeah, I've got to say, I really enjoyed going back and watching, um, especially the Veneta fight uh, that Mark DeCasey was in. If, if, you get, if you've got UFC fight pass, go back and watch that fight. It's, it is bloody entertaining stuff. But... Again, one thing that I did find funny, again, it was something the commentators said, and it's something they always say. They always say, like, that after a groin strike, well, you know, that was unintentional, it was, de yeah, it was definitely accidental. It's like, guys, of course it was accidental. We haven't seen intentional groin strikes since the days of Bob Schreiber, right? Dirty Bob Schreiber, he was this guy who used to fight in Pride. Go and check out his back catalogue. It's hilarious, because he's the only person, I think, at one time, I saw him commit three fouls in one move, in one illegal move. Basically, it was in Pride before they allowed kicks to the head of a downed opponent. And you're not, you weren't allowed to, to um, hit the back of the opponent's head, right? And what happened, he was fighting this dude. I can't remember what the guy's name was, but he, he was fighting in Pride all the time. He lost pretty much every fight I ever watched him in. But the, the Japanese absolutely loved the fact that he'd go out there and fight again. So... So, um, yeah, he's fighting this guy, and it gets to the end of the round, and the guy is just underneath the ropes, right, like on his front, so the back of his head's facing up, and he's on the floor, so he's a downed opponent, the back of his head's facing up, right, and the bell goes, and then, like, literally, Bob Schreiber just looks up and just, bang, axe kicks the back of his head, after the bell, to the back of the head, to the downed opponent, disqualified, I mean, that's committing three fouls in one move. I don't know if that's ever been bettered in the history of mixed martial arts. Dirty Bob Schreiber, this Dutch kickboxer, is an absolute nutcase. Like I say, if you, if you, if you haven't seen his fights, go back and watch him. They're, they are bloody hilarious. But either way, we've got some fights to look forward to this weekend as well. Uh, yeah, like I said, my pick is... Um, I, I would think that Mark DeCase is probably going to win... But my money is going to go on Raphael Fiziev because he is a plus 220 underdog. And I do want Mark DeCasey to win. So that way, either way, I'm happy. It's one of those win-win situations. Uh, if you think I'm absolutely out of my mind, by all means, uh, let me know in the comments. Keep it respectful. You know, I like to have a conversation about these things. But yeah, give me a comment. Give me a subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, keep those bets terrible. I'll catch you next time.